So NXT happened, and it's basically going to be the Beck Lynch show temporary. Um, and you know, oh, yeah, for people saying that, you know, oh, why well, you're angry? Like the way she brought in the ratings, you know, oh, the, which, if memory serves me right, the best ratings that NXT had was when. They debuted on a USA Network, or they re-debut, and I'm pretty sure they had better ratings when freaking, uh, when it was a game show. But, like, again, really, who cares about Becky Lynch? She's not a fucking draw. She's really not. And, again, no one cares about women's goddamn wrestling. Again, I love women like fucking women, but no one fucking cares about women's goddamn wrestling, especially when, like, trannies are on the show or whatever. Sure, tr- Becky Lynch is trying to look more feminine nowadays, but, like... It doesn't help that, you know, trying to portray herself as a man. And also, it doesn't, like, I'm sorry, women's wrestling doesn't draw. Try, stop trying to make tender big time. And this was, like, kind of sad. Like, guys like Carmelo Hayes, who's, even though no one's going to give a fuck about him, that's something with Becky Lynch. At least they, you know, with Becky Lynch, that's all, like, she had, probably has. People know mo- her more because, you know, they like to shove her, her down people's throats. Act like she's, like, like famous. And people, like, know her more because, like, you know, because WWE press appearance or whatever. As compared to Carmelo Hayes, but it's like whatever. No one cares about this goddamn wrestling. Bacon says, "I demand a comes around. I demand this come around next year as the new champion." Oh. Yeah, Tiffany Stratton comes that back. St- uh, comes out, basically saying that she's next and like, I'm entitled to my rematch. I, I, and before anybody, and I, well, yeah, Bacon just got open challenge or whatever. But I'm entitled to rematch before anybody. Uh, but they're not getting that match tonight or whatever. Basically, he'll, like, get it. We're, we're, they're not good enough to get the match, even though they did the match last week. And then he's guess what? Like, pit, trying to piss the fans or whatever. You know, like, eh, I don't really want to really see another match or no really care. Uh, I do think Tiffany Stratton kind of is okay to go to the main roster. That's just my opinion. They are basically making her legit, like, to, like, heal Barbie, apparently, which is, like, not a problem. She says, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be driving to the next re- retirement home looking for the next Hall of Famer to get more clout, which she's not wrong. And again, in my opinion, again, who the fuck uh, doesn't care? But I, I like Tiffany Stratton better, more entertaining, more hot. Um, and if anything better, she now has a cut-up promo because Becky Lynch is fucking... Becky Lynch can't cut a fucking promo to save her fucking life. This then leads to fucking Kiana Jane. Keanu James basically attacking uh, Becky Lynch after Becky Lynch just goes attack Tiffany Stratton for some reason, whatever. Uh, I don't know. This, oh yeah, eventually Tiffany Stratton does like challenge her to no mercy or whatever. Um, Tiffany Stratton gets attacked by Becky Lynch. That's some domestic violence right there. It's just good, like a man attacking another fem- like a female. Like, holy shit. But then Keanu James comes out and basically uh, attacks her, whatever. And this, yeah, there you go. Becky Lynch is angry and challenges them to a two-on-one handicap match for tonight. Like, anyone cares? Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, the Becky Lynch show, huh? No one cares. No one's gonna fucking... I bet you no one fucking watched. Or even, like, show me probably went a little lower. I don't know. It's whatever, just the truth. Finally, this gay metaphor, the gay matrix. Like, whatever. Well, what the fuck is this gay shit? Anyways, Pete Dunne defeated Tyler Bates. look kind of gay. Some people are saying this match was good or whatever. I mean, I bet their match was better because, like, more story or whatever. Back when it was, like, 2017. I don't know. Whatever it is. What is it? I'll take your word to say the match was fine. Um, yeah. T. Hill goes shopping with uh, J.C. Jane. I did see it because uh, it was, like, recommended to me. And it, she did look good. It's good stuff. Hot shit. Um, Duke hugs in the feature of coffee to be a roll up and he proceeds it to the fucking heritage cup or whatever. I don't know. Some three way tie thing and a triple threat tiebreaker is announced for tonight, whatever. Roxanne Perez defeats Lola Voice or whatever. Isn't she like some famous MMA fighter and yeah, she's like fucking like a nobody on this? Like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> they trope t- challenge D Jack to a strap match. Like, who fucking cares? They literally fucking doing this because they had like a strap match in AEW. Like, why are they trying to compete with whatever? It's just, and who the fuck cares about this shit? Who the fuck is this guy? Roxanne offers her assistant to be a, it's a tag partner, but Becky wants uh, her to rest because, guys, she's a good guy or whatever. Or, I'm sorry, she's supposed to be a woman. Like, whatever, I don't care. And actually, that's not even a good shirt. Holy shit. Mom, mommy feeling Usi chance. Dominic loses to Carmelo Hayes because of uh, 
Oh no, not come. Oh, Dominic dirty. Actually, Dominic won this match by disqualification, or no, uh, ended in no contest or whatever because get, guess some interference for some reason. Iggy is like a he or something attacking him for some dumb reason, and then Drag Lead proceeds to take advantage of this and attacks Dominic and he poses with the title, whatever. Scripps went from a mass superior to a hoodie guy, like hood guy, whatever, and get it, their hood and shit, man. <laughs> like, who the fuck cares? Joe Coffee guy defeats Duke Hudson Nate and Frazier in advance of the finals of the Heritage Cup. I guess he's facing, I don't know, some stupid shit. I don't fucking care. Staff Ali is angry that Dragon Lee's getting a shot before him, even though he, had, uh, he earned a normal contender shot. Like, whatever. It, uh, I don't know. This looks like a goof. I don't fucking care. And Lyra Valkyra. Makes the save of the day. She decides to join Becky Lynch. And they defeated uh, Kiana James and Tiffany Stratton. Um, this is some stupid shit that's announced for next week or whatever. Who the fuck cares? And uh, Becky Lynch wins. And she decides to challenge Ke uh, Tiffany Stratton to an extreme rules match. Wow, very, it's going to be very extreme. Um, is any extreme rules coming? I don't fucking know. I just like... Uh, the first time an Extreme Rules match is happening in a while. That's not in an Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So, okay. Um, why does it have to be extreme? Uh, whatever. I don't know. I guess, because get it with a chair or whatever. From earlier. God forbid we can't get brawn panties matches or shit like that if you want ratings. Um, or hot shit going on. But it's gotta be, gotta be hardcore for some reason. Unless they, like, do hotness hardcore. But it's like, whatever. Anyways, this is the Becky Lynch show, uh, now, or temporary, and, yeah, women's wrestling opening main event of the show, and doesn't draw. Keanu, uh, fucking, Keanu Jeans and fucking Tiff Tran are good. You and the fucking even live are heroes, alright? Who fucking cares? This show just really, who the fuck cares? <laughs> it was really entertaining or intri intriguing, let's be honest here. Till next time, peace, yeah, bye.